Well, Chico's an itchy boy, but he always has been, hasn't he, Chet? Uh, <laughs> he's especially itchy because he just had his fluids. Yeah, he, yeah. He, he was off balance and just sort of flopped over. <laughs> he hit me, and I was like, oh, he's going he's gonna to attack. And he, he's he going to bite right into the was, fat. He was up, 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 and then blop. <laughs> and it was, it was real cute. Yeah. And I like people are going to start asking, like, what exactly are his fluids? Because I feel like they're going to think he's, like, getting drunk. Well, <laughs> no, no, no. So, um... Well, I know, but yeah. you said he well, was... Well, I mean, I'm, I'm just going to explain it he since was, you, you asked He was that. off balance and flopped over. It's like, yes, he's been drinking, everyone. Well, so, it's exactly, yeah, what, it's 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 exactly what it sounds like. He's got, like, a bolus of fluids right yeah. here because he has to, where his kidneys were chittered, um... We inject the whiskey into him instead of making him drink it. <laughs> he gets 150 mils of uh, whiskey. What they call lactated ringers solution, which is whiskey. Sure, uh, dog whiskey, saline, and you know other bunch of other like important other stuff. chemicals and stuff. Yeah. So and he he <laughs> tries to bite the ever loving crap out of me for about 10 minutes. Well, a, that happens. So you're saying he's a mean drunk. Yeah, yeah. He, he well he's he's mean in the process of getting drunk, oh, okay. and then after that he's fine. Then he's yeah. The, he's, then he's a happy drunk. He's content. Yeah, he's content after that. Yeah, just don't don't make fun of the hump. We just don't right. point it out. He's okay. a little sensitive. All right, about so it. instead also, of we his... don't push on it because the fluids will leak out. Oh. All right, so sometimes instead of instead oh, of talking about the hump and Yeesh. the fluids, yeah, let's, let's uh, talk and the dog whiskey. Uh, <laughs> instead, let's talk about something else. Uh, let's talk about Falcon Punches. So we've all played Smash Bros. Uh, yep. And have we all been a victim of a Falcon Punch? Uh, you know, I don't think I ever have, but I've always wanted to make somebody else a victim of one. Well, okay. I've been a victim of plenty of them, and um, it's because my buddy Cody Skeens always would play as Captain Falcon Dude, in both mix in sixty four and Smash Bros. Melee, and it was and it was fun. It was fun. It was fun playing against Captain Falcon, uh, but honestly. Uh, uh, the Falcon, like, pe I've seen people, like, play games where they just do nothing but Falcon punches. Yeah. They, like, go across the, Falcon punch, Falcon punch, Falcon punch. Yeah, that, that's me. Yeah, and, uh. Because I always, like, every time I see Captain Falcon, it's like, man, I want to hit somebody with, with the Falcon punch, and I'm never good enough to do it. Dude, if uh, you just, if you keep laying out there, you'll hit somebody eventually. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> but Especially if you catch one of those reverse <laughs> ones. You know, because that just feels that feels so good because it's just like, uh, whoa. Well, and then there's and then there's Ganondorf, who everybody says is like a a more tank version of Captain Falcon. Yeah, I don't ever play as Falcon, but I do play as Ganondorf a lot in big fights. Mm. And uh, oh yeah, you do. And it works. You, you, it works for you. That Warlock punch, I like it. Oh yeah, it's we've it is uh, good. we we may have had people actually challenging you in the comments of the last video. Oh yeah, oh, that's man. right. People have wanted to play. I'm really your, not uh, that good, but you're a hell of a lot better than we are. Nah, I uh, seriously, I, I've you're, been practicing a fair bit, and I'm I'm okay. Now. Micah, you're a Dark Souls boss. <laughs> We're going to throw ourselves up against you so many times and lose until finally we get the one where we win. One time. And then you get salty because we're all like, man, you remember that time I beat Micah? Because that's a fond memory for me. Mm. Oh, he wants cough drops. No, no. no. Nobody. No, no. Sorry. Does he eat cough no, drops? No, no, Chico. No, but he'll get one and carry it around. Oh. Okay, so... He's anyway, just like, this is mine. Uh, no we're one. back with more GR Smash. You know, GR Smash, uh, we watch their uh, 10 Most Disrespectful... <laughs> Uh, the ten most disrespectful moments in Smash history. Chico, um, are you wanting water? Okay, hold on. No, he's wanting his water. Go on, buddy. Drink it up. So I have placed yeah. the boy on the ground. He <laughs> will return eventually, unless but, he's getting ready to pee. Uh oh. No, I don't think he's getting ready to oh, pee. Oh, he he's near. He's, he's near. Just, he found it. Yay! yay. He's found drinking. it. He found the water. Cool. So, uh, Gr Smash did a collection of the top twenty Falcon punches. Uh, I can't think they have another list of Falcon Punches, but right now we're on the, uh, we're just on, uh, on this first, first one. one. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's just get, get it on there. screen. Let's just get all up ends and Man. see what, uh, good old Captain Falcon has to offer for us. Here we go. So are you saying that he's going to show us his yes. moves? Yes. 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 All right. All right. Here we go. Yep. And right now... Uh oh. Uh oh. Bad Falcon kick. Oh! Wow. Damn, son. <laughs> Love Prague on freaking commentary, dude. Prague, 
Prague, like uh, Prague and D1 were probably my favorite commentary. Oh, wow. oh, M2K. What's he going to do? Oh! <laughs> and recovers. Oh, my a, gosh. You M2K. glorious son of a bitch. I'm not, oh I'm, not, I'm not brave enough to go off edge and do stuff no. like that. No. Mm -mm. Oh, a double. Yes. Damn. Look at the kid. He's like so happy he got that. Man, that kid. He's like posturing up so hard like. He's just like, oh, yep, yep. Oh, yep, the throat. yep, yep. Like, it's yep. over. And, it, and it's just like, listen here. <laughs> listen here, Chunkus. I can buy and sell you. I can buy and sell you, In this oh, 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 triple. <laughs> oh, hacks. Oh, double double Falcon. Oh, Captain oh, Falcon. Oh, reverse. Oh. Reverse. Oh, poor and Captain Fat. You lost the match, but you won the war. Yeah, you won, though. You lost the battle. Had you never heard that before? No, I, 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 I had, but I had since so long. I was just Captain stops, Fabulous. Yeah. Captain you Fabulous. Shake hands, but you won. Yes. You have the most important point of yeah, that match. I, yeah. but, uh, I think it's oh, like destroy the Sheik. Really destroy Sheik so yeah. hard. Sheik is hard to fight. Oh, a reverse again. Goodbye. Bye-bye mm. -bye now. Oh. An edge guard falcon punch. Uh-oh. Oh, oh God. God. Oh, me of justice. Oh, Ooh. and he, oh, he picked it. Oh. Oh, is this wow. Isaiah? Oh, Isaiah's corner. Yes. Go. Oh he, oh, he didn't get him on. He didn't get him on the oh, tap. Oh my God! Whoa. Oh, brilliant! Man, Isaiah. That's hardcore. I, I think that was good. Isaiah. It might not have been. Whoa! Oh, edge guard! Oh, my. And he got <laughs> that. That's crazy. Can you just, man? It's the ones where they they fly off and get back, and you're like, no, no, screw you. Oh, good night. He had just enough time to set it up. Yep. Beauty. M2K, dude. A beast as Captain Falcon. Ridiculous. Oop. Oh, knee Oop. of justice. Oh, 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 oh man. God. Falcon combo. Jesus. Knee wow. of justice into freaking Falcon punch. I'm so mad that they changed his win theme. <laughs> they yep. can't believe it either. What? Did that just happen? Yep. I don't even know how you, like, find the guy off screen like that to hit him. Oh. Uh, you track them with the, uh, oh you track them with the, um, with the bubble. The bubble. Of course, like, I guess done, if you, yeah, you know. Well, if you play oh enough, you know where the bubble is Yeah, if you're a professional, I mean. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, he like gave him it. That's the first time he gave it. Oh, Sheik. What's it get? Is it going to be Randall? We're going to get a Randall. Oh! Randall assist! Yes! Oh! Yes! Randall assist with the, with the freaking Falcon. Oh, uh, man, and he, know, he knew he couldn't yeah, recover from like, that. He's like, nope, nope. I'm out. Gone. I just got gone straight forever. bodied. Is edge guarding frowned upon in tournament play? Uh... Depends on depends on the type of edge guard you have. If you're just an edge lord who just hangs on the edge all the time, then that then that's not then cool. it's frowned upon. But if you you know have a good edge guard, no one's gonna no one's gonna hate oh, you. Oh come on! No one's gonna hate you if you have a good edge. Oh! Elbow! Elbow! Boom! Oh baby! TK! Uh, ah! <laughs> good and lord. TK is gone. TK is gone. Dude. He just left. He just left. Oh! Same game. Oh! All right. Wow. Are you serious? Two fucking punches and dead. <laughs> and they just both suicided. <laughs> They're just like, this is dumb. Oh God! That's oh, crazy. that hurt, dude. That hurt me. That was dumb. Oh, M2K again. Uh -oh. What's he gonna do? Is he gonna do? Is he gonna do the Falcon combo? Yep, yep. Oh! And look at him freaking out. Look at M2K freaking well. out. Oh my gosh. Not sure if it's not quick enough. Oh, M2K again. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh, come on. Nope. Hit. Oh, good read. What a oh, read. Oh, the landing. What a read on that oh, one. Oh, just dive into oh, it. That hurt, dude. That hurt me. I don't oh, even know man. how you pull that off that quickly. Like, he falcon kicked down and You're then. Look, look at DK in the floor. Wrong, man. DK's in the floor. He's just like, look, I don't know. Back to this match when things like that happen. Only a read of only a, there's yeah, a read of that's yeah, yeah, that that's correct. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> okay, read it all, put it back. 
<laughs> what gotta, a read, yeah. Get, it was a good all right, read. All right, I'm back. I'm back. Oh, is it going to happen back. again? <laughs> that read made every English teacher in America happy. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, good Lord. Knee of justice. Oh! <laughs> Doubles. He got it. He got it on the track. Damn. Oh, wall hop. Too smart. A wall. Wow. Man. Oh, Spike. Oh! Oh my God. The man of the century, Zelda Freak, See. knowing that that can only work if you DI's for your opponent. West Ball. And every is Zelda Freak DI single video I see on this and fulfilling uh, of this everyone's dreams. Here, makes me realize that the I real, should never play Smash again. Yeah. I want to play Smash. I want to play Zelda Smash, Zelda Zelda play Smash Zelda again, dude. No, like I look at this and I'm going, combo. never again. I'll never be that good. You never know. Like I know that those people are out there. Oh, September. And it's like I'm gonna, no. I'm, I'm gonna lose. Oh, double off the stage. That's to be fair, crazy. if Mike is anywhere near a controller, I'm gonna lose. Bonus clip denied. Oh, boo. That's there. banana. Nah, <laughs> just joking. Oh my god, he went for all the marbles, and he's gonna. Oh, for it oh, for no, knee. no Falcon cup. Oh, oh, a what? Go. Are you kidding me? He ate it. He we just took, took it. He ate it. Like, oh, my like, gosh. I don't know how that happened. Spike. Oh, what's he going to do? What's he going to do? Coming down. Oh, oh that was it. like That was one of those freak physics things. I actually heard a, this is this was a real-life story where, like, you know, Dr. Mario should have been dead. To, mm -hmm. I mean, like, he had 100%. it dead to rights. Oh, yeah. Um, it was a medical report my buddy told me about. He's a dentist. Yeah. Um, this guy, he was some kind of, like, Leo, and I think it was, like, SWAT or something. Mm -hmm. Came around a corner, dude shot him point blank with a small caliber handgun, and you know, like in pool, where you know you you know you hit the ball and like all the energy in the ball you hit is depleted into the other one. Yeah, yeah. Shot his tooth out through his lip. Bullet dropped. Dude survived. It was just one of what? those freak, just one in a billion acts of like perfect physics. That's that's like that, or <laughs> it's like how do you, how do you come back from that? How? But, there's always that one chance. No, like at that point, the criminal's just like. It's like, well, he literally caught a bullet with his teeth. Look, I give myself up. I wonder, I wonder if that officer had a kid, and if his kid goes, "Hey, you want to hear something crazy? My daddy caught your bullet <laughs> with his teeth. My my daddy caught your bullet. Your daddy caught your bullet. My daddy caught your bullet." <laughs> They're making Your a rush hour caught four. A bull. Yeah, they I are. I know. I heard about that. They're making a rush hour four. <laughs> it's gonna be fantastic. Which is to I say, maybe so. they're making the rush hour three we deserve. Well, I mean, it. Those movies. My daddy caught a bullet. <laughs> um, <laughs> my daddy caught a bullet. Really, too, you go. You, were really good. you go for the chemistry between Jackie Chan and Chris Tucker. It's Absolutely, not, it's and not it's really. There. Yeah, it's not really like for the story. Uh, well, uh, I go for I go well. The, the story is inconsequential when you have that much chemistry yeah. working off, of, you know, them working off each other. But not only that, but I also go for Jackie Chan's style of mm. action. Oh comedy yeah, because he's a master of it, and he also knows how to work with directors. Well, okay, his first his first attempt at making an American film uh, with you know I think it was Police Story, uh, the uh, the first Police Story mm -hmm. movie. Uh, he, the director, John Glickenhaus, like, told Jackie Chan to just shut up and leave the set. I'm directing the film my way. Okay. I don't want your input on how to do this stuff. And then, and now John Glickenhaus, uh, John Glickenhaus is, n I think was ostracized from Hollywood just for that, and Jackie Chan said he'd never come back to Hollywood. And then 13 years later, he came back and did Rumble in the Bronx, and, you yeah. know, pretty much, like, rewrote the book mm -hmm. on, act on, like, action films here in the United States. He introduced these techniques properly this time. He was given proper introduction this time, and that's and that's I, how stuff works. I do like that there's like a foreign film scene that's big enough to challenge Hollywood and like say, hey, like, you know, I actually don't want to work with you all, and it's actually going to hurt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So they well, need more of that. I think. I think. Well, it's going to. I think Hollywood is. I'm not going to say Hollywood's on its last legs by I no mean, means. Hollywood is. Hollywood's Certainly. in trouble right now. We've seen a set Falcon or Captain Falcon loose in there and just Falcon punch some. 
Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, the thing's pretty much already on fire. Just, oh, just God. Burn it down. <laughs> yeah. Be- uh, okay. People hanging on the edge. He just needs to sneak down behind him and show him his moves. Ooh, okay. That sounds wrong. Falcon Punch. That okay. sounds wrong. You no, no, I'll make it worse no. if you want me to. Do it. Do it. So, have you ever noticed uh, where the Falcon Punch lands? On pretty much all of the female characters. Um, oh. Right in the baby basket. Right in the mommy daddy button. Oh. F- <laughs> really? Just. Whoo. It's bad. It's it's bad. <coughs> you, you, you know what? Actually, there was an edit a friend of mine did. He made this. Uh, okay, it was from Friday the 13th, uh, Jason Takes to Manhattan. <laughs> now, here, here's what happened. No. There was this one part where this kid who was a, who was a no. boxer. Who was a boxer took on Jason on the rooftop and actually did really actually was doing really well. Was like backing him up, you know, body shot, body shot, body shot, jab to the head, jab, and then hook, hook, hook. Had him backed up against the edge of the building, and the guy's hands were pretty much just decimated, broken. Oh yeah. And then Jay and he looks over to Jason and he says, "Take your best shot." Jason grabs him by the shirt, hol- you know, holsters back a friggin' haymaker. And then knocks his head off, and it goes rolling down the side of the building yeah, into a dumpster. Just head my, clean yeah, off. My friend did an edit. It was Falcon, pa, <laughs> and his head goes flying off the side <laughs> and lands in the end. And uh, it, it goes, "This game's winner is." And it, and it shows Jason walking off, and it does like a freeze frame mm-hmm. on Jason, and like Jason Voorhees' like title comes out right up above. <laughs> the, the it was so good. The funniest one I've ever seen. Uh, came out of of all things the Jersey Shore. Oh dear, I'm worried. But go up. But proceed. Um, let me see if I can actually find oh dear. it. Oh no. But speaking of uh, boxing horror villains, I still think my favorite person trying to box something was um the dude boxing the werewolf from Dog Soldiers. Oh man. Oh man. I freaking love that movie. <laughs> um, such a good silly movie. I have no idea if this oh, is actually Oh, the Snooky gonna... one. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh it's bad. Bonus video. It's bo- there there might be a bonus video unless I can just straight up find the gif. Wait, Snooky it. gets Falcon Punch? Uh-huh. I think that's it. That's oh, it. Oh. That's the one. Yeah. Oh. She yeah, she got rocked, dude. It it's was bad. bad. It, it's uh uh, that yeah. was actually, that, I remember this story actually being what launched the Jersey Shore into like worldwide fame. Uh, yeah, because Boom. of her getting smocked uh, right there. Uh, yeah, oh. Nate, if you want to put that up on on screen, or if you don't, I mean, Guido punch, Guido punch. Oh, that's wham. Yeah, hat goes flying. She get a, like this made the actually. There's a lot of people saying that this was actually a plant, and that the guy actually was like hired to do it, and Snooky agreed to get hit. And I mean, I, that wouldn't surprise me. No, because it's it's in TV. But, it's reality uh, television. Right, Nothing's ever gonna, real in reality gonna, television. We're going to close that down now. All right, all right. Let me get off screen. There we go. It's so serious with that helmet. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's the helmet that makes it. Yes, it's, it is. It's kind of got that Judge Dredd thing going on a little bit because it, like, casts so much shade over the eyes. Yeah, and then you, you can just hear, I am the love. I mean, he. I mean, Captain Falcon kind of is. Captain Falcon is kind of the law. Kind yeah, of. He is. I mean, Judge he's Dredd. he's a bounty hunter. I mean, he yeah, is. He is. Yeah. Seriously, he is. still waiting for that sick Metroid F Zero crossover. That would be awesome. <laughs> because after uh, Metroid Fusion, Samus is a fugitive from the Galactic Federation. Who better to hire than Captain Falcon? Nintendo, make this happen. I know it won't happen because. You guys are a bunch of jackanapes. I mean, well, they're they're making Metroid Prime Four, which is more than I ever expected. No, I know that, but still. And we got Metroid Samus Returns, which is more than I ever expected. I was pretty sure Metroid was dead. So. Well, okay, I, I'll know. say this. Well, okay, when it comes to doing fan games, you know the whole the whole thing with mm-hmm. fan games, they killed that Metroid fan game. Yeah, AM AM Two R, which, I mean, the developer later was like, yeah, that made a whole lot of sense and I don't bear any ill will because they remade Metroid 2. I think may well you know what? This is what I think developers need to take cues from. They need to take cues from what people gravitate towards. And then if you know Nintendo shuts it down uh, oh actually you're probably gonna be mad about this Ben. Well here we go. There's talk through the grapevine that Bethesda has actually effectively shut down Skyrim multiplayer. 
What? That's what I'm hearing through the great bunch. Like mods that would allow co-op play? Yep. Why would they do that? I don't know. This is totally against what Bethesda is normally about. I have a bad feeling that I know the answer. Why is that? Creation Club. Oh. You think? I think. Because, uh... Now that you mention that, it yeah? makes a whole hell of a lot of sense. Uh-huh. Because uh. if you think about it, the Creation Club, they're bringing out these, quite honestly, really, really not great mods that you could have gotten for free quite easily. Yeah. And, <clears throat> you know, but now it's like, hey, you're going to pay for these. No. And uh, one of them was a Skyrim survival mode for special edition, which, nope, I ain't getting involved in that. So are these, like, basically mods that Bethesda's put their stamp of approval on, but they're pay-gated? Yes. Yes. Um, and I'm not even sure that the developers get any money. I don't, I don't I, know. I don't think so either. I don't know, but it wouldn't surprise me by any stretch of the imagination. Well, then people are going to stop developing mods, won't they? I mean, you'd think. Well, I think... It'll stay. I, I think it will effectively go more underground, I'm, and uh, people will do like unstable builds for like like Skyrim, like unstable builds for s previous Skyrim editions hmm. that don't block it. I mean, it's it's really something I'm, something I really I'm don't look forward up. to. But oh yeah, speaking of mods, Skyrim I actually have a Super Land Smash Brothers Mod Brawl, and I'm probably going to do some Project M. Oh yeah, I, I, I'm probably going to um, do some Project M. That's probably going to that's going to be interesting. All right. Okay, there's no there's no news on uh, Tamriel Online, which is one of them. Yeah. <clears throat> that was being worked on. Um, and then, let's see. That's pretty much them trying to turn Skyrim into an MMO. Well, it's uh, over LAN. Uh, Skyrim Together closes in on launch. So, yeah, no, it's... Um, Uh, it doesn't actually look like it's uh, been stopped. Oh, Jesus. So that's that's good news. So, I mean, we've got two different multiplayer mods that are in the works, which is great news. Agreed. But, uh, yeah, not not dead, which is great. It's a great sign. Yeah, agreed. So, I got real worried. All right, so Ugh. this was GR Smash. Actually, you know what? Hold on. Because I yeah. like this video a lot, you know, and oh, because this is a good video, and plus we want to you know, give you all incentive to go back to this original video, uh, we're going to leave a like on this. And uh, not only that, we're going to leave a comment that I, I'm not going to tell you what it is, Yeah. <laughs> of course, uh, what, uh, what is, what does Captain Falcon like to drink? Falcon punch. No, water. Oh. I need to show you that comic. There's a whole, uh, God. There was a comic called okay. Brawl in the Family that uh, did this whole storyline of oh, Captain Falcon dating Samus. Oh, dear. And, like, oh date, no. And then Snake shows up to ruin it. Yes. Okay. It's perfect. That, that, sounds, that sounds really good. It's so good. All right. So I left a comment on this video. Uh, if you find it, then... Uh, I mean, good luck. You know, you know, if you find it, you know, Give it, you know, give us a thumbs up or you know, give a reply saying oh. that you found it. Yep. Also, uh, don't forget to leave a like on the original video, the twenty uh, top twenty Falcon punches by uh, by Gr Smash and Super Smash Bros. Once again, everybody, uh, signing off for the Renegades. I'm Nate. I'm Ben. Like a and we yeah, and we will see you all later, everyone. Peace out. Uh -huh.